Hey, once again, it's time to talk about batteries. <laughs> We have a few or several new products uh, to offer, but this time around, I want to talk to you guys about an old product. Remember the Jump e-bike battery packs that have the MH1 cells? Well, we sold a ton of those. Uh, a bunch of you guys used it for all kinds of things. And now we have a small number of them pop back up and we were able to secure them and now we have them on our website. This time around though, they are complete packs. Originally, if you remember back in the day, they had their connectors were cut. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or that's a bad thing. Well, I think it's, it is a bad thing because now you'd have to solder in there, which is not that hard to do, but now you could find this connector if you didn't want to do that and then just connect the stuff in here, right? Um, also, the, the whole rest of the pack is intact. So you could use this in an original, uh, for its original purpose, if those uh, bikes are still around, um, you could use it, right? Now, if that's not the case, what can these be used? These are very, very cool because with a few screws, you can take them apart and they just come right off. Look at this, right? You could totally just slide it off. Let me put this thing in here. And then you have access to the batteries inside. And so there are several ways. If you remember uh, about a year ago when we were uh, trying to figure these out, there were several stages that we did. The first stage was before we knew that this was available, that you could figure out the BMS, right? There's BMS. Uh, what we ended up doing is taking the BMS off and then just putting our own in here. And I have a video about that. I'll link it down below in the description of this video. And then you use the batteries that way. Also, there was a, uh, a hack that someone figured out, right? I sent one of these packs to uh, Alex Greta, Greta uh, and he was able to sniff the CAN messages that was going be between this battery pack and then the bicycle. And so he devised this little unit here, this little board with a chip in there. And this spits out the, the commands, uh, the can commands to wake this battery up. And we made, we manufactured a bunch of these. I had him program a bunch of these, uh, about a hundred or so. And then we sold this in our website. but. Those are no longer available. I have, uh, you know, a couple of these boards, but that's about it. So the instructions on how to make this board are out there. I will link that also in the description, uh, the product description for this battery on the website. There, all the information is there, but I'll just also put it on this video right here, right? So if you're uh, able uh, to program stuff, right, if you're you know, talented enough to sort of do that stuff, then you can figure out how to program one of these little boards here and then have, wake up those batteries that way. By the way, you can use one board and then you can just uh, parallel a bunch of these, right? Uh, also, there is a third way to use it. Uh, some people posted after we sold a bunch of these that there is a way, there's another hack where you put uh, one of these pins of one of this chip right here just to ground using a 1K resistor and that would also wake up the battery. It would do the same thing as, uh, it, would, it would turn on that switch basically, right? That the same way that the command, the CAN commands will do. So I'll link that video also in the description. That's how we, uh, you can use these batteries. And then the, the last way is you just take these apart and you salvage the cells so that you can use them in other, uh, in other projects. Now I have built many uh, Powerwall systems in my day, but 
the one on this particular building right now where I'm at, it was built using those packs. Let me show it to you here. Here we go. I opened it up. I took the cover off. It's usually covered up right here. But these, um, it's like 16 kilowatt hours from what I remember. Um, and I did away. Actually, I know the, the BMSs are there. I just bypassed them and did my own. And uh, you can see those in here, right? So I charge this and then I leave it charged there. And when the power goes out, all I have to do is turn this 36 volt uh, inverter and then this connects in here. And then I flip these switches here and then the power now comes from this battery and this through this inverter and it goes in here and goes into all the, uh, you know, the circuits that takes to power this building right here, right? So this is a power wall has been operating uh, for about a year, a better part than a year. Uh, and so there we go. These packs are finally back. These are really good cells, MH1s, uh, LG MH1s, right? 3,200 milliamp hour, something like that. And so this is a good value to have there. These are good e-bike batteries and you can use them for pretty much whatever else you can think of. Now, currently there is a lot of good batteries coming up, like these ones, for example. These are also another 40 cell, about 3,200 milliamp hours. I think these are Panasonic's, and I am gonna make a video about these, and we're gonna list them on our website. We're just going through them right now to see what we have, how many we have, all this stuff, but it's several hundred of these uh, that will be available on our website. These are really cool, very similar to what we used to sell way back in the day. Um, there we go. See that? So, there we go. Stay tuned for that. We'll make a video about that. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. there is how you build a DIY backup power wall. This thing, when the power goes out, this thing uh, takes over and provides power for all our needs in this building. Yep, about 30 or so of these uh, e-bike batteries. Uh, it's been working now for 15 months or something like that, I think, since I did it. So there you go. One quick, easy way that you can use some of these packs uh to power your needs all right see you guys in the next one bye